Okay, well, I'm up here at my other house where I've got all these long-term uh, running experiments lined up on this windowsill that uh, some of them have been going for years and years. <clears throat> and the one down there at the end, the easy spin, will be four years in August, nonstop, 24-7. Uh, many of these have stopped and had to have been restarted, but this kind of shows you where I'm at with these projects. Uh, this one right here, I'll give a link to the, when I made this back in 2013, the video. And this one here uses a supercapacitor and an LED to limit the voltage that this big old solar panel pumps into that supercapacitor so it doesn't overcharge uh, the supercapacitor. And this will run around the clock too. Um, this is one of the old, old, old ones that uh, is now not running, but this was another round the clock runner that I had going here years and years ago. Um, that's the uh, one that uh, I kind of worked with Granddad on that uh, I've now modified to run on a battery. And this is a depleted battery hooked up to the supercapacitor um, and then a light um, solar powered garden light to watch it run at night. And this was the one that I used the resistor on the battery to um, have that. And that's been running for a long, 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 long time. But this is similar to Granddad's snowman experiment where he has a little animated snowman running on a depleted battery. That's a depleted uh, AAA. It was down around 1 to 1.2 volts um, just to run this around the clock. Uh, that solar panel wasn't big enough to run this around the clock um, at all. I, I just wouldn't do it. So I, I ended up uh, abandoning the original project and went to a battery capacitor kind of thing. Anyway, these are the projects that I've got going on here that run uh, all the time. Uh, this is one of the lights that um, is now using a supercapacitor, one of these solar garden lights. And then this here, uh, I played with up here, and this is the solar garden light uh, it's a glass panel that I'm using for the backstop that charges up this small supercapacitor in the windowsill and doesn't run all the time, but when I want to use it, I just move this thing over here, and there, there it goes. I want to play with it. And um, as long as uh, the connections don't go bad on this, this will be something to play with uh, through the years because it has no battery. It just has that solar panel, a supercapacitor, and then uh, to turn it off, you just pull it away from the magnet there, and it sits on the magnet here. This is one of these Mendocino types. Anyway, that's what I've been working with up here. I'll give the link to this that I built back in 2013. It was one of my original 24-7 uh, round-the-clock um, projects. And it does run uh, because of the huge solar panel and the little solar garden light circuit. This will run around the clock if you give it enough light in the morning hours. That's what's going on up here at the experimental windowsill. Thanks for watching.